everybody and I am back. I am Sanam Khan studying in 5th standard and so first let me inform you that our today's question is a requested question. Someone named Rahul had requested me that this question that is the question number 5th from subjective questions of vectors from mechanics volume 1st by DC Pandey. As we know this book mechanics okay that is of the series understanding physics is very famous book. So we'll solve the question number 5th. As we know the question number 5th is that find the resultant of the three vectors shown in figure okay this we have question that here three okay this figure we have now in this figure three vectors we have okay and their resultant means to to them we have to add to them we have to add letter whatever magnitude we are getting that will be our resultant so here we have one is five meters here one is three meters here and one is two meters here we have to add to five meters three meters and two meters now if we can see here that 5 meters is making angle of 37 degree with the x axis here is x axis and here y so here whatever be the result and let its magnitude be s so what is s value if we if we take s1 as 5 meters s2 as 3 meters and s3 as 2 meters so what can be s value s1 plus s2 plus s3 this we can write s equals to s1 plus s2 plus 3 now according to this we'll put the values so we can write here that s equals to now only directly values we don't have to put just like here we can see here it is making 37 degree angle 5 meter is making the x-axis so according to this we'll put so first bracket to one big, big bracket and one small bracket we can put now 37 degree angle so whatever be 5 meters okay here it is 5 meters so first we'll do cos 37 degree letter multiply in 5 meters letter add by doing the sine of 37 degree and multiplying in 5 meters so this we can write as this 5 cos 37 degree okay this we have 5 cos 37 degree now plus 5 sine 37 degree one time we'll do its cos and later one time sine this we have now here we can notice one thing that while doing them we have to place some unit vectors in middle so let us put any unit vector with 5 cos 37 degree let us put any unit vector i hat and with 5 sine 37 degree let us put j hat this we have so we are to value we are getting first 5 cos 37 degree i hat plus 5 sin 37 degree j hat now bracket close now plus here we have here no angle of inclination is directly well we can put value so 3 meter is so plus 3 now here also if here unit vectors we are putting here also let us put here also i hat here also i hat we can put plus now here 2 meter is so plus 2 now here j hat we can put this we have what value we are getting of s 5 cos 37 degree i hat plus 5 sin 37 degree j hat plus 3 i hat plus 2 j hat so much value we have now according to this we'll solve so s value what we'll get 5 cos 37 degree what is it so cos 37 degree into 5 that is 4 so 4 into i hat is 4 i hat so here what we have bracket 4 i hat plus now 5 7 5 sin 37 degree sin 37 degree multiplied by 5 okay a total it is 3 3 into j hat is 3 j hat so what we have 4 i hat plus 3 j hat now plus 3 i hat plus 2 j hat this we have what magnitude we are getting of s that is 4 i hat plus 3 j hat plus 3 i hat plus 2 j hat this we have now we'll try to add them so what we'll get s equals to now 4 i hat plus 3 j hat like this will not add according to the unit vectors we have to decide which unit vectors will be common just like here 4 i hat is and here 3 i hat so here i hat i hat is common so here we'll add 4 i hat plus 3 i hat is 7 i hat plus now 3 j hat plus 2 j hat okay like this we have to if here i hat is so 2 i hat j hat is so j hat so 3 j hat plus 2 j hat is 5 j hat this we have what we got with the value of s that is 7 i hat plus 5 j hat now according to this you using our usual formula will solve so what now we have to neglect the value of our those our unit vectors so what will get value first s square equals to we can do s square s square equals to 7 square plus 5 square which is equals to 7 is okay so what we can write that implies that s equals to okay 
that's uh, the root of 7 square root of 7 square plus 5 square this we can write that if s square equals to 7 square plus 5 square then s equals to square root of 7 square plus 5 square so what is the square root of 7 square plus 5 square 7 square plus 5 square means 74 because 49 plus 25 is 74 so s equals to it implies that s equals to root of 74 in meters okay now as we know 74 is no perfect square so now here we can leave it like this because it is not perfect square if we'll try to solve it so it will go in decimals now we can leave it here so in meters we'll get out answer so s equals to root 74 meter and so a meter and so this value came but now we have to find the angle between them that what angle it is making with the x and y axis so for that we can see for that we can make a diagram we can make a such diagram okay diagram can be made such okay here a parallelogram can be met and let here be 5 meters if here be, as we know 7 and 5 we had got so if here be 5 meters then here can be 7 meters such a diagram if we make so here between them what will be s magnitude this is magnitude of s that is the magnitude of sum of 7 and 5 okay this we have now here according to this we'll solve what we have formula for tan theta tan theta equals to perpendicular divided by base what is perpendicular 5 divided by base 7 what we have we have got the angle okay tangent of this angle is 5 by 7 means tan theta equals to 5 by 7 if we want value of theta because angle we need so we'll try to send this tan here so it was in multiplication with theta as it will go with 5 by 7 in division so theta equals to 5 by tan 7 we can write 5 by tan 7 this we got angle theta equals to 5 tan by 7 sorry 5 by tan 7 so this in simpler form we can write that theta equals to in simpler form if we write so tan inverse 5 by 7 we can write so what answer we have that the resultant is root 74 meters making angles tan inverse 5 by 7 from x-axis towards the y-axis so this was my today's topic thank you